Hey everybody, happy Saturday, hope you're all doing well. So today is one of those really cold, rainy, windy Saturdays, I think it's a good day to be inside. So if you're by your computer, hopefully you can tune in and I'd love to hear your comments. because so we're gonna be talking about some of the new pack outs that were just launched at the 2023 pipeline event. So behind me here, I have some of them and what I'm gonna do is go through this video, just show you some of the tools that fit. So if you want to drop a comment, and I <clears throat> try to grab some of the more popular tools around me. So if you're wondering like what might fit in some of these totes, there's two different totes and then there's two different pack out drawers. So I'll explain them in a minute. Let's see. Um, so what I have, a couple of videos that I'm gonna walk through that I took at Pipeline. Each video is probably about a minute and a half long or so. And we're gonna look at some of the things that some of the product managers talked about and then I'm going to walk back here and give you some hands-on demonstrations of some of the tools or the packouts, and then show you what will fit inside and show you some of the things. I really haven't had them very long, so I'm still seeing all the different features. There's a few things that didn't make sense at first, but then when I started to test it out a little bit, then it did make sense. So I'll point that out as well, too. So, all right, so let's start out. I'm going to, we're gonna take a look at the first video. Okay. All right, uh, so coming beginning of next year, we're gonna have a new handle on our rolling toolbox. Uh, biggest thing is it's gonna collapse down lower than the current. So what this is gonna allow you to do is put it in the back of your truck under your tonneau cover without having to remove the handle, without having to risk damaging and breaking. Uh, so it still extends to the same height, for easy mobility. It's still gonna have the same durability, but again, it's gonna collapse down substantially lower to be able to fit under a truck bed cover. So it's the same? Same box. box. Okay, I do handle, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, that, that one does. Oh, all right, I'm just writing a comment. I didn't realize it was that short. I'm just going to finish this. Put that in the comments. All right, so yeah, I'm just curious. So I have quite a few of them near me right now. So there's some of the back out uh, stacking toolboxes. There's some that go on the wall, the garage ones. I, I don't really have that available right now, but I have it over there in my garage. I could show you that at some point, just not today. And some of the bags and things. Um, all right, so the next thing I have, let's see. There's a quick little short video that I'll show you. So Milwaukee introduced, after they launched some of their pack outs, some of their drink, I guess tumblers they call them. So they have a new version. This is one of the original ones they had, I believe like a 20 ounce and a 32 ounce. This is the 32. This is pretty handy. So it has this locking on the very bottom that'll lock in. So if you set it down on your pack out, it won't like this right here. Can you see, guys see back there? So if you put it there and twist it, then see that's not gonna go anywhere. 
So I'll show you the another quick little clip and that will explain one of their new tumblers that they have coming out and some pretty cool testing. So let's go to that next. All right, so Nick, you're gonna show me the new pack out. How many ounces are they? Uh, 36. Okay. And then we're also gonna have uh, 24 and 16, which we have over there, I can show you a minute. Um, so they have the same twist a lot connectivity as our tumblers had. And then with that, we're dropping a new twist a lock mounting puck. So this is gonna allow you to just put some screws in it or epoxy it or tape it anywhere on a job site. Have a secure water bottle all day. That comes with it. Um, so these will be available in one and three packs. And then we also, every time we're out doing research, every job site you see dented up, beat up water bottles. So we created an impact resistant body on these. So you can see here, to simulate a day on the job site. Really no issues dropping the weight on our new water bottle. So what are you dropping on, how much? Uh, we got about four or five pound ball here. Okay. And then with the competitor's water bottle. Man. You can see there it leaves a sizable dent. Yeah. So we're really, making this for the job site and making it durable enough to get you through all everything you're gonna throw at it on its site. Cool. Can I see the lid underneath? So if, yeah, I thought that, so I like then, that design right there just only takes a yeah. couple twists, not like five or six like some other ones. So yeah. then that part opens up just for cleaning an and easy twist, ice in. easy yeah. to put ice in, easy to clean with a brush, dishwasher safe. Okay. Nice. Super simple. Yeah, that was something that I asked him about. I had some water bottles where you have to twist it several times. And the last couple of years, I went to the Yeti brand, and that's what I fill up quite often. And I just like how quick and easy it is to open it up to get a quick drink and then to seal it shut. It's just a quick, the threads are more like a coarse thread, I guess you'd say, not a fine thread where you have to twist it several times. So that was something I was excited to see with the new cups having that item right there. And then <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody has any questions yet on the pack out items. I'm gonna show you another quick clip. So Milwaukee has, well, let me step back a minute. They have a couple of totes. So this is one of their original ones. I had a set of Lennox screwdrivers. I just put that on the end right there. So. I, this is, um, I forget what size tote this is. This is their middle size one. And then they upgraded to these two. So this one, they have, well, they actually have a smaller one than this. I would say that's probably set up better for like an electrician. It's shorter, more compact. That's what I tend to see most electricians carry. Then they upgraded to this one right here. So this one has, Right there, you can see where it has storage. And then the nice thing is you can zip it up right there. There's so many different pockets on here. So we're gonna take a quick look. I have, oh, see that side's zipped up. So I have one more quick clip that I'll show you from the pipeline event. Just going over, yeah, I believe it's this one right here. There's a couple features that Okay, yeah, I put a hammer in there. I wasn't sure if a hammer would fit in there. I think just most of the trades, they probably could use a hammer. So this is the trim bone by Stiletto. It's a little bit smaller. So that will fit in there. It's just a little tight. There isn't really a dedicated compartment for that, but I always find that there's times where things need a hammer or friendly persuasion, as you could say. All right, so let's take a quick look at the other one, the final clip that I have, and then we're gonna start looking at some of the pack outs here. All right, so we're looking, this is the new pack out tote. Do you know what size it is? Uh, 10 inch. Okay, this is gonna be out in September? Yep, okay. this will be launching in September. So for tape storage, it's gonna come included with a T-chain on here. Okay. And in addition to that, we're actually gonna have two tape straps on it that are completely removable. So you can 
put them both on the same clip or move them wherever you want to really customize the bag. Oh, that's cool. So this is primarily geared for like an electrician or like anyone really in the trades? Yeah, we've trade. seen a lot of service people really liking this bag, but... It's got everything, all your essentials, the pliers, and you probably get a hammer in there and... Yeah. And all that. Okay. Exactly. All right. So let me show you uh, some of the features of these pack out items. So this is the tote that he was talking about right here. So this has that tape storage. So I may not have really known what that was. So it's helpful to see that this right here unclips. Then you can put your tape through there. And you gotta, gotta take the tags off here. So here's another one, more tape storage. And then this is the T one right here. Uh, is there, <laughs> the contrast is kind of tough to see, but you have this T chain one. So that's gonna be really handy for your electrical tape. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna start off with the pack out drawers. So this is one of the first ones that they came out with for the pipeline event, the four drawer right here. So that might be handy. I'd say mostly for like some small parts. Let me go down here a second so you can check out the pages, the Home Depot website. All right, so we're gonna go to Here's the, oh. <laughs> all right, my Apple Watch, always listening. Okay, so here's the four drawer toolbox. So this one, it runs 199 at the moment and it has a 50 pound capacity, four drawers and let's see, Yeah, I was looking for this part right here, the product details. So yeah, it has the locking bar, like all the pack out drawers. So right through here, there's two loops that you can lock it. So this just helps when you're transporting these, like in your vehicle, you put that bar in there. Maybe some of you have that, but just nice having the four drawer and it comes with all these dividers in here. I haven't set anything up yet. And then in here, well, actually, this is a question I have. So if anyone's watching and wants to know what will fit in these, as far as the, I'm gonna grab a tape measure right here just to see what I get compared to what they advertise. So it's about two and a half inches. So like your M12 light right here, that will just fit. Um, be good for like your hammers. But if you put those dividers in, let's just take a look at some of their pictures. So they, you can just see they put a lot of screws in there. It's probably really handy for all your little parts, parts organizer. But then if you have some of your smaller tools, your hand tools, I don't know, maybe you'd put it in a bag or you know you have the choice, whatever works better for you or something like this. So I did, this is um, right below it. I'll show you the three drawer. Let me go back up here. All right. Yeah, so let me back that right. So right here we have the three drawer. So there's two, these two are about the same size as this one right here. I think, what did I say, two and a half? Um, so that looks like it has just a little more. It's maybe like two and five eighths. Very close to the same. Then you have this bottom drawer right here. So this pack out comes with Two different sets of dividers the real tall ones for the bottom drawer and this bag right here for the two narrower drawers so that could be really handy for say if you want to bring your drill like an m18 let's see if this fits yeah no problem all right so i do have a nailer let me see if that fits i have that hang on a second so right here we have the m18 brad nailer Yep, that'll fit. We have the D handle, or no, sorry, <laughs> the barrel grip jigsaw. I was gonna ask you guys what one you prefer, the D handle or the barrel grip. So yeah, things like that, they come in really handy. 
Yeah, like all your M12 tools would fit in there as well too, I would say. Put this back in there. I have the, that stack of packouts on the rolling dolly, which I really like. It's very handy. So let's take a look at the structured tote here. So I mentioned that there was something that I thought was a little, I discovered after I started using it, a little feature. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, Antonio, thanks for stopping by. Just looking at the comments right now. Yeah, that four drawer is something that I'm sure a lot of people have been asking about. So being able to organize and have all those different parts would be really handy. Danby, uh, thanks for stopping by. I like how they provide dividers. Yeah, that's true. Um, I was looking at the Rockler website and they sell a, or a divider kit and for your drawers, just like your workbench drawers. And man, they are really expensive. So I don't know if you guys have seen those or not. I forget what they're called, but that's something that it's nice to just see you have that option. I'm actually working on getting some Kaizen foam. I have some that I purchased for some of my other pack outs, but then I also noticed that if, let's see, let's take a look down here a minute. That I think they have some, yeah, I don't see it there right off hand, but there's some new pack out foam that Milwaukee is selling too, specifically for these as well too. So different thicknesses. Um, oh yeah, so <laughs> got a little sidetracked. So one of the things I noticed with this right away, they upgraded the shoulder strap. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's a really nice thick shoulder strap. So I think this bag weighs somewhere like around 11 pounds. And if you notice this, I'll just show you this handle right here. I was kind of wondering why it always like kind of, why it doesn't just stay straight up like that. But the fact that it tilts like that, it just seemed kind of handy when I'm carrying this. I didn't have that like jabbing me in the side that kind of just naturally goes over. I don't know if that is something that they designed. Actually, I probably I haven't adjusted the strap on here yet, but I just thought it was kind of nice that it tucks all the way there. So we're going to take a look at the inside here a minute. Let's see. This is the rolling dolly. Yeah, so right here, we have room for the tape measure. Nice metal right there. There's just so many different pockets. I really haven't had a chance to make sure this is focused on that. I haven't really had a chance to make sure that, haven't had a chance to see and figure out which each one is. So I do plan on reviewing this in the future. So if there's something that, if you're even watching this after I'm going live, leave a comment down below. So I'd like to be able to answer everybody's questions when it comes to this right here. I did go on the Home Depot website and there was a question. Let's go to that real quick. So if you look at the questions and answers right here, so somebody said, well, M18 driver and drill fit in those slots that shows the M12s. So I did look at what, where they were talking. So like, here's room and the M, I would say, this is my answer to that. This is really set up for the smaller M12 tools. I have a, yeah, here it is, the M18 impact right here. And I guess it would just fit if you did it that way, but it's really, I'd say really not designed for that. So I would recommend going with, plan on if you're gonna buy this to run all your M12s in there. So you see it just fits in there really nice. You have all these different pockets right there. And let me run out of space to store things. There we go. So I was looking right here, there's a couple 
little things that you can clip something to. So if you wanna just keep a tape measure handy where you always have one, this little six and a half inch, that would clip. Oh, there it is. All right, that was on the other side. So you could always have that whenever you need it. Sometimes it's nice just to make sure you always know where a tape measure is, even if it's just for something really small, you can do that. So there's, yeah, all types of slots. Room for all your pencils, carpenter pencils. In a recent video, I was featuring the stiletto squares. There's three different squares, a couple framing squares and a carpenter trim square, this one right here. I highly recommend this right here if you're doing carpentry work. I think once you buy this, you'll love it and have it for a lifetime. So in there, I was mentioning these Pika dry items right here. This is a Pika marker. They make a pencil. And this is something that I really like having for doing my carpentry work. So the, the marker for some of your more rough markings and the pencil has a built-in sharpener. I don't have it right at the moment, but something like that. I would probably keep those somewhere right in there. There's all types of room right there for more... Um, pencils and that and then right here is a storage so like everywhere you look there's almost so many drawers or drawers zippers and storage compartments it's just crazy how much there is then on the ends there's room for a couple things right there let's see if this side is any different yeah you could Clip something on there as well. There's things that you could hook onto this. And this has a little bit different setup, so room for more hand tools. You can see right there, there's room for all types of different screwdrivers. I have, let's see. Yeah, I have some Milwaukee screwdrivers right here. So you may want to put those Right there. So I like about the Milwaukee, really nice markings on the end so you know which one is which. So that looks like that'll work well. So I think like a utility knife would be another item that would be like a must have in there. Um, often having to level. So yeah, just a matter of figuring out some of them are a little smaller that won't fit. So you just have to go through and see where your different items will fit. I'll try that, try this one again. Yeah, it's pretty tight right there. But that slot right there, that'll, that spot where you can fit it. All right, do we have any other questions yet? All right, sorry. All right, let me go back. I apologize. I didn't realize that I went to the Home Depot. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't, didn't realize I didn't look at my screen. So you didn't probably see the close up. Sorry about that. I don't go live that often. So I have to apologize that. Let's see. I just want to go to make sure I didn't miss any of the comments. Yeah, the wires are pricey. I agree. Yeah, that shoulder strap, it's just amazing. I That was one of the very first things that I noticed. It just like, wow, that really, when you have that loaded down, if you're walking a distance, it's great having that, that extra padding on there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Does that look like a purse? What about maybe this one? Where's the other one? Oh, right here. This one's a little smaller. We're going to go to this one next. Yeah, so this one has, as I mentioned, this one has that handle. So this one is a little bit different. So this one always folds in, I noticed. So this is the, this is called the, that's not the, that one's the structured tote. This one's the, oh, yeah. This one's a 10 inch structured tote. All right. Let me go back to the comments here a second. All right. Okay, so what, what I'll do is I'll show you real quick. And this time I'll, I'll make sure that I don't forget to go back to the expanded view. 
So we're going to take a look at this right here. Okay, so this is the 10 inch structured tote. So this one, let me go over here. This is 219 currently at the Home Depot. And let's see. Yeah, so they have, yeah, in my store, they have them in stock. Pretty sure most of these right here, they have all these items in stock now. So they have, yeah, it's a tear resistant layered ballistic material that holds its shape. They're rated for a 50 pound weight capacity. And they advertise the YKK zippers. So those are the really gold standard, I'd say, the ones that you know are gonna last a long time. All metal hardware, stamp metal cape clip, and a limited lifetime warranty. I didn't read through exactly the fine words on that, there's, that's pretty impressive to be able to do that. So this one has 35 pockets. Let me, all right. I'll give you a close hand look at this. So I like, it's padded around the sides right there. And this has the same padded shoulder strap. There's a lot more room in the middle. So I believe in the pictures, if you go to the Home Depot website, you'll see where they put a like an impact driver or a drill driver. So this is the M12 impact. You can put that in there. This is the M12 drill driver, the hammer drill. So you can see, easily fit those two right there. I'm gonna roll this up a little closer. So this is very similar. So you can put your tape measure right there. Very handy. Room for a few other items. It has all types of different slots right there. You can hook things on. So if you look in this pocket, I'm gonna tilt it forward. You just see room for your screwdrivers or some wider things. So that would, I wonder that might be too shallow for. Yeah, it might that might tip out. Maybe your square. Let's see. Put a square in there. Anyways, I guess it just depends on what hand tools you want to have. And this side is very similar. Room with all those right there as well too. So. Then the other thing I forgot to mention is on the bottom, it does have the pack out. So let's say you're rolling up to the job site. That clips in right there. Take this one right here. There, they're both secured. And there you go. You can roll on out to your job site. Yeah, one of the comments I was going to make, I forgot, was in the beginning, that first clip that I showed you, there's the original big pack-out box, right? They had, it used to come in a three pack-out kit at Home Depot. I think most places they offered it as the three pack-out. So it had that handle that stuck up. But the nice thing with this one, he was mentioning that it's a shorter handle, so it'll fit under the tonneau cover of a pickup. And they did have a truck... At the pipeline event, I just forgot to get a picture of that, but it just fits nice under there. So that was just a nice little small upgrade that they made. Oh, yeah. Well, Antonio, I did notice that there was quite a big section of automotive things that Milwaukee they're focusing on. So that's probably something that you'll see a little bit more of in the future. All right, so, all right, I believe that, all right, I'm gonna go to this screen right here. All right, so as you can see right here, so this is the Kentucky Expo Center in Louisville. So next week I'm gonna be at Equip on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So 
I'll probably be going live, I'm guessing probably on Thursday. So Milwaukee will be there. A lot of big other tool companies like DeWalt and Makita, Echo, Steel, Husqvarna, uh, all types of lawn mowing companies, just all different things. So if there's something that you have an interest in, let me know. There's a little bit more with robotic mowers. There's the whole hardscape area. So I'm going to try to go through and make a video covering. I'll probably have a separate video for a few different tool companies showing what's new for this year or for this fall. So let me know if there's something that is going to happen at Equip. You've got a few days if you're watching this video to drop a comment down below after this video goes live and let me know what you'd like to see. Um, Oh yeah, Antonio, I was gonna mention, getting back to the automotive thing that, I don't know if you saw, they just announced this week. This is actually at the pipeline event. They have a boroscope that's <clears throat> really small that can get in to diagnose some of the issues with cars like into the spark plug area or in those hard to reach areas of a vehicle. And I think it has some type of, I really didn't look at that closely, but when engines get really hot, it does have some type of a thermometer on it too that can, I don't know if it'll tell you the temperature, but it'll at least tell you if it's overheating, so if it's too hot. So anyways, um, I guess that is it. I was just gonna go live for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not sure how long I've been going live here now, but anyways. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I could see for mobile repair, just having everything organized. My one toolbox over here for all my automotive things. I have a Milwaukee tool chest and I you, I spent time arranging with the Kaizen foam to lay things out. And I'm so glad that I did because when I need something, I can tell you right now exactly where that's at. If I need to get a specific tool for the job. So Yep. All right. Well, friends, leave a comment down below. Like I mentioned, if you want to see something in particular at the Equip Expo. So that's it for right now. Appreciate everybody tuning in on this Saturday. Hope you stay warm and we will see. Yeah, I'll be going live next week. So please uh, watch on YouTube and you'll find out. I'll try to give you a little advance warning when I'm going to be going live there. So have a great Saturday. Catch you next time.